up everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel Chess Doctor here with yet another banger and in today's banger we're continuing our rapid chess elo grind series today's episode number nine and we are just I hope today we're gonna crush somebody because yesterday I lost to three nights game, which was just ridiculous, okay? I was really angry about that, but today I am surrounded by plants. Look at this. This is a beautiful uh, in-home garden that my mom made and it's just so wonderful. Today my uh, table is getting uh, painted, so that's why I'm filming here, okay? And uh, we're just gonna find our first victim. We are blessed by these flowers, so I hope we're gonna win a game, okay? So I have to play on my touch board, but I can I can use my mouse like this. <laughs> okay, so we got the white pieces, <laughs> and the rating currently is uh, 1,074, which is good. This is I think this is my peak. No, my peak was yesterday with 1,091. So I'm very close to 1,100, which is good. So, uh, Slav Defense, we're just gonna develop the horse, we're not going to care. I would like to not use my mouse because I want you to see this beautiful background. Uh, okay, uh, okay. so we have this, I don't really care, I think I'm just gonna... Uh, I, I don't care if I have to take here, honestly. Uh, but we should maybe do something like this. Uh, nevertheless, because I wanna push... Uh, g3 and play the cattle and okay, so if I like take back here then my bishop here would be useless, okay? Okay, so um, Should we just develop here? Oh, but let's let's rather I, I mouse slip this one I mouse slip this one because I really wanted to go with h3 But I mouse slipped h4 instead which I mean it is what it is So now we gotta now we gotta play something like this. Okay guys now we gotta do something like this I'm just chilling in my living room and playing chess, okay? So, uh, I mouse slipped on move 5. Move 5 I mouse slipped, so we're playing a completely different game than I wanted to. Uh, but maybe, uh, you know, as uh, Bob Ross said, uh, it's just, there are no mistakes. There are just happy little accidents. And that's true, that's true. So this was not a mistake. It was just a happy little accident and we're just gonna move on. Uh, because now we're making him expand on the king side here. Uh, and maybe that's good for us as well. So uh, I'm gonna develop my horse here and uh, try for this push right here. And maybe, just maybe, I'm planning on castling up queen side instead of king side. Okay. So we have this. Okay. 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 I'm gonna develop here. Uh, I'm gonna probably develop here so that I get out of this. A situation ship right here and that's probably it okay also the sound is different because I don't have my mic right now because my mic is on my table and everything is just so chaotic in my house right now because of the room renovation but uh, we're going to have a much more beautiful studio than before uh, so I'm very excited about that part okay guys so we have this quiet pin defense okay sir whatever uh, yeah I'm just gonna go for this one uh, I mean, I can go here and like target this B pawn, right? I, I can do that. So let's see whether or not he got, but he just develops the horse and that's just it. We can still win the pawn though, we can still win the pawn, you know? But like we won't probably win the rook. Oh, he really wants to trade up queens? Sir, no thank you. Sir, you know I am not a big fan of trading up queens. Zappa doesn't like that, okay? Politely decline the offer of trading up the queen, okay? Okay, so I wanna castle up queen side, as I said. And I think I can do that now. He do be targeting this one, but we just we can just take multiple ways. Uh, so yeah, I don't really care. I'm just gonna castle, and I'm just gonna chill here in my beautiful garden, okay? Because this really makes me happy. Uh, come on, guys, look at this. This is so beautiful, okay? It's very calming. Today I also played some chess over the board and it was very fun. I mean, it was just for fun, you know, it was it was not a tournament or something. Uh, but it was very fun to switch up from online playing to over the board playing. And I was so confused by how do pieces move on the board <laughs> because I'm an online player, you know. <laughs> I rarely play on the board, but I have a board and I should definitely play it more often on the board, okay? 
because one day maybe our chess doctor is also going to participate in some tournaments, okay, sir? So we have this uh, bishop to, to h6. Uh, what exactly is the doing? Okay, I don't know, but I think the, the whole point of me castling up queens, I should just be to move my king here because uh, we're fearless and we don't care. So let's do that because then later on, if we move our queen, this pawn is uh, protected here. But we also let him now pin this uh, in a way. So uh, we're gonna see, can he punish that? Or, uh, oh, he also castled up queen side. That's very interesting. I didn't expect of him to do that, okay? Okay, so now we can just ask the queen a question uh, here because we do not care. And uh, maybe uh, pick up this pawn somehow. Uh, okay, we can pick up the pawn now because that's just that's just free. Okay, so now we picked up a pawn, and after 14 moves of playing a game of chess, I, uh, we finally have some uh, some dynamic here, which is me being up a singular pawn. Okay, guys, <laughs> chess is wild. I hate equal positions, but it is what it is. Uh, okay, my plan here should somehow be to push this up. Uh, I don't really mind trading up here like this either because I'm fine with that. And now he do be asking my queen El Questiono uh, and we have to defend like this uh, because uh, otherwise the queen is pinned and that is not good. So we're probably gonna do this. Uh, I hope, I hope he just ain't gonna, okay. He just gonna he just gonna trade it, which is exactly what I wanted. Because if you like put more pressure there, I would probably lose a queen, which wouldn't be very nice. <laughs> okay, so now I'm planning on jumping here probably. Okay, so he wants to like target this and then then fork me. Okay, so let's just move like here, and then he can't do that, right? <laughs> I mean, sometimes chess is si as simple as that, right? Sometimes it's as simple as that, but sometimes it's not. Okay, I'm gonna go here and maybe ask for the trade, uh, but we can do this and we can fork them. Yeah, that's very good. That This is very good <laughs> because we just fork them. So they wanted to fork me, but now we fork them instead, which is, which is very nice Uno reverse if you think about it. Okay, so... Uh, now he's threatening not a singular thing, so we just pick up a rook for a horse and uh, We just have to be careful not to like get checkmated here on this B file because B file is looking kind of uh, weird right now uh, But we can also pick up this pawn. Yeah, we're kind of ruining our structure uh, But we can also do something like this uh, I don't know which move do I like more. Okay, but since I'm up material uh, trading up is honestly what I would like to do. Oh, he pre-moved this. Okay, sir, he pre-moved this. Uh, maybe we should just push up the pawn. Oh, we can't, we can't, wait, wait, wait. What should we do? I wanna have this bishop developed somehow. Uh, maybe we can do this and then like go like this and then we have two pawns which are like in a line and not one behind another. <laughs> So we just solved the crisis of the pawns, like this, which is actually very good. So now he's threatening this pawn and the checkmate, so we have to do this. So uh, if this happens, we just trade up. Actually, I win a piece. <laughs> okay, now we have this. Uh, if I push, he takes, uh, we can take back with the queen and not care. I mean, I'm, I'm up material, so... Yeah, I shouldn't really care, okay? I shouldn't really care because I'm up, I'm pretty much up five points of material, so trading up in any way is actually very beneficial for me here. Uh, rook to c1 and, and queen to c8 is looking saucy here. So I'm planning on doing exactly that, okay? He just gave me the piece, which is a very nice feeling as always. Uh, he can take this or this, I don't care. If he takes here with the rook, we just... Uh, oh, we can't give a check here. But doesn't matter, we're still straight up winning. Uh, we can give this check here because I think he's out of mates. Uh, in this position, yeah, yeah, he's out of check and mate. Oh, okay, so let's give the check here. And let's see where he's gonna move. Okay, now we can do this. And now he can like escape here. 
Uh, but I'm not sure how good is that for my opponent, honestly, because he's getting very close to my territory right now. Uh, okay, I, I'm thinking rook here, but wait. Maybe there is something better in this position, okay? Maybe we can go somewhere like this and then threaten ourselves. No, that's not good, that's not good, okay? Wait, this is rapid, I have time to think. I was thinking I have to hurry somewhere. I have nowhere to hurry, okay, sir? Yeah, maybe just connecting the rooks is honestly the best idea because uh, if I go here, takes... Oh, he's just moving. Oh, he really wants to check and mate me. But sir, if you do this, we just trade up and I win. So I shouldn't really mind, right? Uh, but nevertheless, we can do this. Because, or should we just like move the bay? I wouldn't like to move my king from here. Yeah, because if we go here, this check here is not possible for multiple reasons, okay? So we can just push here, even though this wouldn't be a mate, I still want to push it just in case uh, if it ever becomes a mate or a problem to me, you know? So now we can take with queen or the... But we're gonna take with the queen. Oh, we have a... Oh, I thought that was a free rook. Okay, we're gonna take with queen here because I want to go here. And that one is looking saucy, okay? Uh, if you like moves the queen anywhere, then we win the rook here, okay? We can also ask for a trade What would be happening here? Okay, so he's not allowing me this one. Uh, because then we just trade the queens, and you know that I don't like that. But now uh, we can ask for a trade here. Because I don't see what else is he attacking. He's just protecting from my plans. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Okay, so now we can go... If we go here, takes... Yeah, we can't take here. Okay, let's just promote then. Because uh, what's happening? Our pawn is very strong here. Okay, guys? We have to hurry up though, because I do be speaking a lot. And I'm down on two minutes, but I'm plus eight. So if I can't win this one, nobody can, okay? He, can, he can't go here for a check, okay? Uh, I think he wants to like be stalemate, but that's not possible, because... Okay, sir. Okay, so uh, let's like take this. Let's be greedy, okay? Sometimes you have to be greedy. Sometimes we're just gonna take it all. We have two queens and two rooks on the board. So if I lose this game, I'm definitely giving up on playing chess ever again. So uh, we can even like sack this right now because we're so much up material. We're just so much up material that we do not care, okay? And uh, let's now go... I don't know, with which rook. Okay, we can go like this even. But then he just takes the pawn, okay? We have to somehow for forbid him from going here. Uh, which would be possible... Oh, we can do this and just win the queen, right? Okay. Okay, we can do that. And now we can go here. And now we can go here. And now we can go here. And now this, there should be a checkmate here, okay? Because he can't go here. If we go here, he just goes here and then... Isn't this mate? Or should we like ladder mate him? Okay, I'm gonna do this. And then this should be a checkmate, right? Because if I go here, he can't go anywhere there. And that's just it. Okay, okay, I was I was afraid that's gonna be a stalemate, okay guys? Okay, I'm happy I won this game. This game was a very, uh, very straightforward stop at Sapeti, just straight up winning as always, okay? So let's go for a game review, because today we're playing better than, than yesterday. Yesterday there was just like three horses. Ugh, I can't with that opening, but this slot defense very easy. 87.2% accuracy for your chest, doctor. They tell me I have a nice eye. Sir, I'm blind. I have minus six type. Uh, and my opponent has 75.1% accuracy, which is very good. And they have zero blunders, okay? So I have two great moves. So let's check out what happened here. So this love defense, I usually just like do whatever. Because I don't know any theory, guys. Not in any opening. I have no idea what's the theory. I just play intuitively. 
And I honestly played a lot of good moves here. <laughs> okay, this was a missed uh, win. Let's see what I should have done. Just take here and ignore the trade. Okay, sir, but I do not want to trade the queens. Uh, and here, this was a miss again. I don't care. And now we have this. This was a great move because we just won the pawn. Another great move. DJ Khaled. Okay, this was this was great. Now we had a fork here. And after this, we were straight up winning because our pawns were like this. I actually managed to promote, which was crazy. And this was just like all very, very nice. See, just a lot of excellent moves from both of us. He didn't want to trade here, which was a good decision for my opponent because he's down material. And now here I just gave my queen for this, but then I ended up taking his. And now we have this, this, best move and best move, okay? I was insecure about this checkmate, but it's actually a best move. Uh, estimate is crazy looking cooking, guys. Estimate is crazy. 1550 for your chess doctor. They say I have a 92.8% accuracy in the middle game. And we all know middle games are crazy chaotic. And my opponent has 950 estimate, which is just ridiculous, okay? So guys, today we are just crushing it. I am on another level. Honestly, I feel like if I practice more and if I just like really take my time to soak in the position and if I'm not playing against three knights, I can definitely, I can definitely become a 1500. I think the stockfish here is right and I think that I do have a potential to become a 1500 and maybe even more. Okay guys, so uh, this is today's game of episode number nine, if I know how to count. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you had fun watching this. Uh, and please let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this because this was crazy. This was literally all just subliminal gameplay. I literally blessed by all of the plans here that were giving me a lot of fresh oxygen. And I'm just like very happy uh, that this game was won so easily because when I saw like the opening, I think I messed it up. Yeah, I mouse slipped on move like three or four and play the game in a position that I actually didn't want to play. I wanted to play h3 instead of h4. Uh, but instead of giving up, I just accepted my fate and I accepted that not all of the things are in my control and I just continued playing and then I just crushed the person, okay? I just crushed him too much, okay? Now I feel sorry for the opponent because I just crushed him way too much. <laughs> uh, but guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you already aren't and as I said, leave some comments. I love reading y'all's comments. They're amazing. And uh, guys, check out the description for Discord if you want to join uh, the Soul Crushers Club as well. And if you want to donate, all of the links are in the description, okay? So uh, this is it from uh, Rapid Chess Elo Grind Episode 9. I hope you enjoyed it. And guys, have a most wonderful day. Uh, do not blunder and do not resign. Just keep on playing because you can do it. And I just wish you uh, the most wonderful day ever, okay? So that's it. Thank you for stopping by and I'm going to see you all tomorrow in a new video. Bye-bye!